National HIV Testing Week is from the 10th to the 16th of February and is an opportunity to promote regular testing for people in the UK. This is an important opportunity for us to get back on track with our goal of ending new transmissions by 2030. If we don't promote testing and test people that aren't usually being tested, it will be impossible for us to reach our goal. National HIV Testing Week is a great opportunity to remind yourselves when to test your patients. There are lots of reasons for primary care clinicians to do HIV testing, and it's helpful to know the indicated conditions. This list can be very extensive, so we put together five key messages to help you remember and think about testing for your patients. Worried about possible immunosuppression? Do an HIV test. Often, HIV infection is the great mimic and pre can present like lots of other conditions. If your patient has fever, weight loss, or you're worried that there's something else going on, add an HIV test to your investigations. Worried about possible malignancy? Do an HIV test. People living with HIV can often present with systemic symptoms. Lots of RDC pathways now include a request for an HIV test and HIV can be associated with a variety of malignancies. If you're worried about a possible cancer, add in an HIV test. A few common illnesses back to back? Do an HIV test. Often patients with undiagnosed HIV can have a few common illnesses back to back, such as shingles, pneumonia, or diarrhea, which might on their own not be cause for concern. But if your patient has had a few of these, think about adding in an HIV test. Symptoms taking longer than expected to resolve? Do an HIV test. People with undiagnosed HIV can present with symptoms that take longer than expected to get better, such as fevers or diarrhea. If your patient isn't getting better as quickly as you expected, think about adding an HIV test. Slightly abnormal blood results? Do an HIV test. It is common for people living with HIV to have slightly abnormal blood results, especially FBCs and LFTs. If your patient's blood results are abnormal and you're not sure why, add an HIV test to your investigation. For further information, you can visit the National HIV Testing Week website. And remember, if you're not sure what the cause is, consider an HIV test.